the enormous die casts known as giga presses are revolutionizing the auto industry. High pressure aluminum die casting machines are a possibility for automakers like Toyota, GM, VW, Hyundai, and Volvo if they want to produce automobiles more quickly and effectively. The process is criticized for posing hazards to quality and flexibility. Huge aluminum die casting machines, such as those manufactured by Tesla supplier Idra Group, are replacing approximately 60 welded components with a single module, which helps manufacturers streamline manufacturing and save costs by up to 40% in some regions. Large single sections of car underbody work may now be produced quickly and with less effort required from even robots, thanks to Tesla's invention of the Giga Presses, huge casting machines. It has become the most profitable manufacturer of electric vehicles using batteries thanks to this. The method, according to critics, puts quality and flexibility at risk since a single error might jeopardize an entire module and complicate repairs when something goes wrong. But as the industry struggles to maintain profit margins in the face of rising raw material costs, automakers like General Motors, Hyundai, Volvo, and Chinese electric car startup Neo are looking to businesses like Idra for support. The primary objective was to offer a technology that could streamline the automobile manufacturing process. IDRA General Manager Ricardo Ferrario stated to Reuters at a meeting at the company's Travagliato, Northern Italy, headquarters. Currently, battery packs account for between 25% and 40% of the entire cost of BVs. Ferrario stated, you have to cut the rest's cost. The average cost of an automaker's parts can be lowered by 30%, and the investments required to create the chassis which is the second most expensive component after the engine, by 40%, according to Ferrario. This is achieved by employing aluminum casting machines. It's a way to eventually make Bev something for all pockets, he explained. Since 2016, Idra, which was acquired by LK Industries, a Chinese company, has been creating Giga Presses, Bueller Group in Europe, Ube and Shibaura Machine in Japan, Yuzumi and Haitian in China, are among IDRA and LK's rivals. Die casting of metal and plastic has long been a part of manufacturing, although it is relatively recent that huge aluminum underbodies in automaking have been made with it. According to an Alex Partners estimate based on Apollo Reports data, the worldwide aluminum die casting market was valued at about $73 billion last year and is expected to reach a value of over $126 billion by 2032. Aluminum is highly valued for its low weight and finds application in various automotive components such as engines. According to a study commissioned by the advocacy group European Aluminum, the average amount of metal in cars made in Europe increased by 20% to 179 kilograms in the three years leading up to 2019 and is predicted to reach nearly 200 kilograms by 2025. With a clamping force of more than 9,000 tons, Idra's newest and largest gigapress, the 9,000, is about the size of a small house. The corporation does not reveal who its customers are, despite having revenue of 100 million euros, 108 million in 2021. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, clarified that the film was for his company's new Cybertruck after it published an image of the first gigapress $9,000 ready for shipping. All of Tesla's locations, including Grünheide, close to Berlin, are already equipped with Giga Presses, which allow the company to make Model Ys up to three times faster than those made by rival companies in just 10 hours. According to Ferrario, Idra had agreements with three automakers and an equal number of Tier 1 parts manufacturers. Hyundai is one among them, according to people with knowledge of the situation. Benefits from die casting, according to Ralph Beckman of manufacturing consultancy Efeso, will cause it to be applied to an increasing number of new models of BV vehicles, also by other manufacturers.
Battery packs are now assembled with front and rear underbody panels made by Giga Presses to create a three-piece chassis for BEVs. I bet 80% of automakers will use Giga Presses by 2035, at least for BEV cars based on new platforms, stated Ferrario. But the real question is, will we need even bigger Giga Presses? However, Betchman of FSO stressed that product design for large module die casting needed to be super solid, as although Ferrario acknowledged that the auto industry was generally conservative and that it was not popular to change long-standing procedures, he dismissed the notion that die casting threatened automaker jobs, pointing out that the body-making process was already heavily automated. The real issue will be with businesses supplying those little parts replaced by our modules, he explained.